Hi, and welcome to the IRS Standard Time channel. Today, I'm going to walk you through a tutorial of how to set up the Omega X33 Skywalker. Um, to set up what Omega often defines as um, a, a real world usage. So not, not being an astronaut, how can you use this, this watch and make actually use of quite a lot of the functionality. I'm going to use the example of actually taking a flight. Uh, I'm currently in Brussels. It's, um, it's uh, 2300 hours or, or 11 p.m. And uh, my time and my watch is currently set um, to show Brussels time um, as T1. So I made a quick note here of how we're going to set this up. So the first thing you always do in this watch, um, you set up UTC, which is uh, UTC or GMT. It's uh, the same thing. Um, keeping in mind that UTC and GMT do not have a summer uh, time, don't have uh, daylight savings time. Um, so currently, um, looking at the Brussels time zone in the winter, that will be one hour ahead of GMT in the summer. Um, like today, it's actually two hours ahead of GMT. And Dublin time is set up as being one hour ahead of uh, GMT or UTC. My flight's leaving tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. And I want to get to the airport by 5.30 a.m. Uh, and I'm landing in Dublin at 7.50 local time. So the flight time is an hour and 50 minutes. So the things I have to set up, the following. So I'm going to set up my mission elapsed time, my MET. I'm going to have that starting at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. I will set up my phase elapsed time as an hour and 30 minutes before the flight. So that's when I actually want to arrive at the airport. And I want to, I'm going to set up my phase elapsed two time as 7.50 a.m. Dublin time. I will add that actually, Dublin time for when my flight will be arriving so that I can keep track of flight time during the flight. And I'm going to set an alarm for 5 a.m. so that I get up on time in the morning. So let's go back to the watch. Let's first of all have a quick look. Um, so we've got four buttons on the side, four pushes on the side, the crown, and keeping in mind the crown doesn't turn. Well, it does turn, but turning it doesn't do anything. We can push it in and, and, and pull it out. Um, as uh, so pulling it out will just uh, put it into into sleep mode essentially so let's go back to my uh, standard screen so there's two menu menus the first menus is the one that i've activated now so when i scroll to i go from t1 to t2 so t1 is my brussels time uh, t2 is dublin time at, at this stage my mission, mission elapsed time is currently not set up i've got my chronograph Got my timer and then I'm back to UTC. Um, any settings on the watch can generally be changed by pushing in this pusher here for about a couple of seconds and um, some part of the screen will start blinking, which is the part you're editing. Um, you're pushing in the crown to cycle between uh, the individual elements to set up and then you're pushing up and down on this side um, to change the value. I then go to my second set of menus by pushing in the crown and holding takes two or three seconds. You can see on the second set of menus, I have phase elapsed time two, I've got phase elapsed time three, I've got my three alarms, and I also have my, uh, of course, phase elapsed time one, just coming back to the start. So let's go back to the first set of menus. So UTC is set up correctly. You will see that, again, T1 is set up as my um, Brussels time. If I wanted to change that, I would push this bottom left pusher in. I want to show you quickly how to do that. The hands will actually clear and you can see it's two hours ahead um, of GMT. And just this is a little hard to see, but at the top here you will see a little plus and that can be either a plus or a minus. And that will actually highlight if you're two hours ahead or two, hour, two hours behind. And it will also show a plus or a minus when you're counting either up or down from a specific mission elapsed time or phase elapsed time. Also, timers um, will show a minus before you reached uh, the end of the timer and will show a plus to actually show you how far past the, the timer time uh, you've gone. So my T1 is set up correctly. My T2 is um, set up correctly as well. Um, so let's uh, pop into my mission elapsed time and we'll set that up. So looking back at my sheet, what I'm going to do here, mission elapsed time, 7 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning. That's when uh, the mission starts. So in this, in this case, the flight starts. Click my button here. 
I have three ways in which I can actually set up mission elapsed time. Uh, first, you'll see the, the zeros uh, blinking away here. I can set it up to be either, and let's actually go the other way. I can set it up to be either with respect to UCT, with respect to T1, T2, and going back. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to look at T1. So my Brussels time, and the flight is leaving at 7 a.m. Brussels time. So I'm going to leave that as T1. I want to click the crown once. I'll set the date now, so 2019. And um, it's the or the 4th of September today. I'll click this once again, and it's tomorrow, so the 5th of September, that I'm gonna set this for. Click the crown again, I'll go jump down to the actual time. I'm gonna move this to 7 a.m. Oh, it's a bit too far, there we go. So 7 a.m. at five, on the 5th of September, 2019. T1 time, so Brussels time, that's when my flight is leaving. I'm finished my settings, I press the bottom left pusher, and you can see now I have a countdown timer that's essentially starting. The little symbol at the top will now show, it's a little hard to see, there we go, will show a minus. So we're seven hours, 55 minutes, and 23 seconds away from my flight uh, departing. My first um, element now is set up. So second thing I'm going to do is set up um, phase elapsed time one. And again, that's an hour and a half before my flight time. And I'm going to do this by pushing down the crown. It's popping over to uh, phase elapsed time one, go into change mode. And this is quite interesting now because again, I can actually set it up to be looking at either T1 or T2 or UTC, but I can also set it up um, to what Omega calls a proportional setup. Um, so I can make this proportional to, to mission elapsed time. So I can actually continuously set this to always be an hour and a half before my mission elapsed time. So it's the, that's the days up here. I'm gonna go down to the hours. And let's just make sure, so that's plus, so it's the other way. We actually want to go minus. So we use the down button, you can see the minus appeared here. So one hour and 30 minutes. The other way, there we go. One hour and 30 minutes before my flight is when I want to be at the airport. And that's it, so I finished the setup. There we go, so I want to be at the airport in six hours and 23 minutes. What's great about this is that you actually never have to go and change this uh, phase elapsed time one again. So every time you're taking a flight, you're just gonna change your mission elapsed time, so your MET setting, and the phase elapsed time, because you set it up uh, proportional to uh, mission elapsed time, will always be uh, correct and up to date. I'm just gonna keep cycling through this. So my phase elapsed time two, um, this is the time I'm landing. I'm gonna set this to 7.50 a.m., but uh, Dublin time. So next setting, PE2, you can actually see here I have something set already and I'll show you quickly how to reset that because it's the quickest way to, to, to start. I'm going to hold my settings button. Um, when I select um, what I want to use as a reference time, if I move that down to the zeros and I finish my setup, it will actually reset everything to zero. So that's the quickest way of getting this done. So re-entering my settings menu, I'm going to now pick time t2 as the reference time, so Dublin time, and so 2019, September, it's going to be tomorrow, so the 5th, and we're landing at 7.50, so we'll go up to 7 here, actually let's go down up to 8, and then I want to go down 10 minutes from there. There we go. So, my phase elapsed time two, this is um, a countdown now to when I will be landing. So I'm gonna be landing in Dublin in nine hours and 42 minutes. And the last thing we said we do is just set up an alarm. So let's go and have a look at my alarms. So here's one set for uh, 6.15. So I'll edit this, pressing my settings button. 
There we go. This is, again, keeping in mind you want to do this T1 because this is Brussels time I'm getting up. So I'm happy with that. I could set a specific date at which I am uh, want to get up. So if I just want to have this alarm go off tomorrow, what I can do is I can, I can set the year and I can set, um, well, I could actually leave it like this and it will go off for the rest of the year at 6.15 a.m. And, and stop on the 1st of January 2020. So you don't have to fill uh, the rest of the date in. Um, the same if I just left it at 9, it will do, it'll get me up at 6.15 for the rest of September and then the 1st of October, the salon will actually switch itself off. But I usually don't get up at 5 a.m. So I'm just going to set it to go off on, on one specific uh, date um, at 5 a.m. So I'm going to cycle through. There we go. And that's me set up. So let's just cycle through the whole thing again. I'm going to go back to the start here. So I've got my Brussels time set at uh, just uh, uh, nine minutes past 11 or, or nine minutes past 23. And um, that's Brussels time. That's the time right now, the time zone I'm in. I've got my T2 set up as my destination time zone, in this case, Dublin time. So one hour um, before the time I'm at now. I have my mission elapsed time, which is my, my mission is starting the second the plane's taking off. So my plane's taking off in seven hours and, and 50 minutes. Cycling through to the other menu, I have my alarm set for 5 a.m. in the morning. Important to make sure that that up there says on. You can switch alarm on and off by doing a long press on this pusher up here. I have alarm two and alarm three. Actually, that one's on. Better switch that off for the morning. I don't want it to go off at 7 a.m. when the plane's about to take off. No point having that. And then I've got my phase elapsed time one. So this is how long I have left to get to the airport. Um, so I want to be at the airport in six hours and 19 minutes. And my phase elapsed two is um, my landing time. So I'm going to be, gonna be landing in, uh, in, in, in nine hours and uh, 39 and a half minutes. All right, that was a quick tutorial on how to set this up. Um, Quite a lot going on. Please feel free to, to comment below. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and I'll do my very, very best to answer them.